Well, Jason, today the community had the opportunity to come out and drive a school bus. That's right, First Student is here at Burlington Centre and they are giving you the opportunity to try your hand behind the wheel. They see a big 40-foot bus and they think that's too big for them to handle, too big to drive. And what we're here to say today is come see us, you'll see it's not that bad. You've got mirrors, you go through a 40-plus hour training program to ensure that you're able to do it and see that, you know, it, it's, it's doable. Let's start it. George Phillips is a bus driver and a trainer for newbies like me. He remembers how he felt the first time he got behind the wheel. I was terrified. Um, we do things differently now. We get someone in a bus right away to see if they like it. Um, it was a couple of days before I got actually behind the wheel. I learned in the winter. But now, five years later, what would be the most rewarding part of driving a school bus? The kids. I would say it's the kids. It's same on, on the bus here. You get to love your kids. Right now, there's a driver shortage across southern Ontario. This can cause students to be late for school as drivers are shuffled to cover routes. The pandemic hit this industry pretty hard and the kids were the ones that were the most impacted with the virtual learning and the, the fact that they can't go on trips to the RBG and to, to locations like that. Having more drivers allows us to get the kids to those events again and get them back to a more yeah, normal yeah. setting. Tell me a little bit about the training process with First Student. We take them from the beginning to right to their B license. So we give them a B license in our yard after they finish training. And it's wonderful to see them progress from never driven a bus like I was to becoming proficient in driving a bus and being good at it. Burlington's Julie Slack came out and got behind the wheel. It was really fun. It was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I was a little bit nervous. I consider myself a good driver, but you never know with something this long if you're going to be good. <laughs> but I think I did all right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a great, it's so flexible. While it's a great second career for a retiree like George, it's a wonderful opportunity for new Canadians and stay-at-home parents alike. It gives them the opportunity to have their kids on the bus and, and, and drive, earn some money. It's how I got into it. I stayed at home, found out it was cheaper for me to be with my kids than pay daycare and, and still have the summers off and the holidays off. So if you've always aspired to become that beloved school bus driver, taking the kids to the Royal Botanical Gardens or the ROM, now's your opportunity. You can find out more at workatfirst.com. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.